Hey everyone, the Flying Haluja here and welcome back to another unboxing. Today we're going to be unboxing the Anthem of the Heart. Now, uh, if you remember, I... You probably won't. It's like a little teaser where I mention all the anime unboxing I'll be unboxing on this channel. And uh, Jinro was one of them, whereas Jinro unfortunately came without the information sheet. So I, I, I had to send it back. I got the money back. And then when I got the money back, I went, right, they're selling fireworks, they're selling Anthem of the Heart and Children of the Sea uh, for just £2 over what I got refunded from Jinro. Jinro, uh, I think it was £25 with £1.95 postage, so it's £26.95 I got back. And then I think it was like £28 something for Children of the Sea, Fireworks, and Anthem of the Heart. So I was only paying, like, what, £2 more? So not that really that bad. And so... <clears throat> fireworks arrived, like I said. That was the only one I kept. Children of the Sea arrived, and it looked like someone had got a key and just chipped away at that. Because there's, like, chips all over that bit there, which is really weird. I would have uh, kept it if it wasn't for that. Uh <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry. Um, then Anthem of the Heart came along. Now, what confuses me is there are two Anthem of the Hearts. Two of them. Now, you've got this one with the nice, clean, blue, fresh-looking front cover. Yeah? You have all the characters on the front. Looks really good. You've got the information on the back, which... I don't particularly like... I like it when you get nice artwork in the back and then an info sheet stuck to the back. But the, this is the info sheet just literally printed onto it. But <laughs> uh, And you got the side. But what confuses me <clears throat> is when I actually bought the amp from the heart about a few days ago or whatever, it looked completely different to this. So all the anime released two versions. But with the same contents and the same booklet, which is really strange. Uh, let me show you a picture right now. All right, so that's what I received before. I didn't like the feel of it. The feel of it was a like really rough sort of feel. I didn't like it. It had a little paper info sheet that went round it, very much like uh, my Demon Slayer. Remember my uh, my Demon Slayer collector's edition? I had a little paper paper around it like that. Which I fucking hate. What I don't get is why they don't just have no card. Like, uh... uh Giovanni's Island had. Or Patam Inverted Ultimate Edition had. And the Giovanni and Patam Inverted, both Ultimates. Uh, you know, like the Ultimate Editions, they had. Like, flipping... What's the other one? Uh... Uh, Gurren Lagann's Ultimate. But you're saying, okay, this isn't an Ultimate Edition, so it's not going to have an O card. Alright, what about Killer Kill? Killer Kill had three parts in a chipboard box, and each one had an O card around it. You know, so it's no excuse. Uh, I hated it when Demon Slayer, uh, it was season one, came with just a standard, you know, chipboard like that. And then I think, no, season one, part one, and then season one, part two. It's not like, it's just the parts and how they, you know, manufacture it. How they sell it to the public. You know, there's no season one, part one or two in the actual anime. It's just one whole season. What I'm saying in the collector's aspect, it's season one, part one, and one to twelve, and then the rest are like 13 to 26. But it came with like a really shit paper, like flipping... Yeah, just look at my Demon Slayer collector's edition unboxing. It came with a really fucking crap paper fucking thing and i have a little slight fucking tear on it as well due to the fact that i stored it and it just got creased with everything else don't put any paper around there all the anime it's stupid as fuck but uh yeah as you can see on the right is that it's literally the same as what you get here except fucking horrible like wallpaper ass bloody feel to it and there's a little paper thing around it i prefer this you know i just love the artwork compared to that bloody artwork which looks shit but yeah, I prefer this. Also, on eBay, the one I showed you right there, that which I had, but I just sent it back because a little paper thing had been ripped. Uh, 
yeah, you can get that on eBay, but you can't get this on eBay. So this one, I think, came out before this one. It's like, yeah, I've, I've looked on eBay, and all they're doing is selling that one. This is actually rarer than that one. <laughs> I actually prefer this one, too. And, uh, yeah, very strange when I made two different versions. Silent Voice did that as well. They bought one with a booklet, which is the better version, and they bought one with, like, art cards or whatever. But, uh, yeah, very, very strange. But, yes, yes. Aniplex. Hmm. I'll have to fucking overcharge their prices, but thanks for in the UK, we're no near, nowhere near as bad as the Americans when it comes to overpricing their shit. There you go. Yeah. I do, I love this artwork. I love the old blue theme to it. Apart from that other one with the old carpet feel to it. It is only in Japanese. It is only in Japanese. Unfortunately, A1 Pictures, you know, Sword Art, let's go. But, um, yeah, A1 Pictures had a hand in this. Well, they made it, but. Yeah, unfortunately, it's only in Japanese, but it's nearly two hours long, this film. It's nearly two hours long. So there's 119, yeah, it's nearly two hours long. It's like one hour and 59. Just put it there just to stop any dinks. And then we got the digipack, which we'll go through first. There we go. Really nice digipack. A little mark there, but it's only from when it goes in and out of the box. Just remember, I only paid eight pounds for this, right? And one pound night five p postage, but the only thing in the corner ain't gonna mean nothing, is it? Um. Yes, that looks really cool. It's the same digi pack as the other, the other one, uh, the other release. When I got it though, the fucking disc was loose. I haven't even checked the disc yet, yeah, have I? Oh, brilliant! It's one of those ones that just bloody. Yeah. yeah, it's in. It's in good condition. Just needs a little wipe, a little tiny little dirt on it. Yeah, I won't be watching DVD, I'll be watching the Blu-ray. I think it's from the same makers as uh, Anahana. And is that... I'm still waiting on Children of the Sea because I sent it back and got a refund. I sent Anthem of the Heart back and got a refund. Uh, so Anthem of the Heart's just arrived, you know, the new one. Well, the other one, it's not new, is it? But yeah, I sent the other one back. I got this one. I kept fireworks because I bought fireworks, Anthem of Heart, and Children to see all at the same time. And then yeah, I sent Anthem and Children back, and I've got a new Anthem. If you can call it new, and just waiting for Children to see to turn up. Hopefully, the box is in good condition. It's uh, pictures. Okay, just give us some info. Oh, no, nice! I love these sort of pictures. Yeah, give give us some info. Uh, no, no, not looking like it's gonna happen. There we go. Info, great, fantastic. I give that a solid eight out of ten. Nice little color, nice artwork, bit of information. Yeah, solid eight out of ten. And yeah, that is what you get. I hope you all enjoyed this uh, little unboxing of Anthem of the Heart. And I shall see you in the next unboxing, which is uh, likely to be Children of the Sea. And yes, I'll see you on the next one. The Flying Lucha. Sure, bye-bye.